Hello and welcome back to Matt Hayes Tottenham blog and to another breaking news video as Tottenham have confirmed their first signing of the January window and their first signing of the Jose Mourinho era. That signing is Jetson Fernandez from Benfica who joins on an 18 month loan deal with an option to buy in June of 2021. Now before I get into the deal if you do want more videos like this plus uh, transfer talk live streams please don't forget to hit that subscribe button down below and click the notification bell so you get notified whenever I upload or go live. Now as I said in the last couple of minutes, Tottenham have announced we have successfully completed the signing of Jetson Fernandez. Uh, he's a 21-year-old midfielder who plays with Benfica at the moment. And the, the details of the deal are uh, pretty, uh, I suppose, confirmed in that it is an 18-month loan deal with an option to buy uh, next summer. But the option to buy rumours, I suppose, vary quite a bit uh, as to just how much Tottenham will actually have to pay if they do want to sign the player next summer. The... The numbers are varying from about £33 million up to £55 million, which is the €65 million euro, uh, figure that Sky Sports are quoting. And I think I think that's mainly due to the, the two deals that they had almost agreed with Chelsea and West Ham prior to the player choosing Tottenham. And I'll be getting a bit more into that in a minute, but just a quick background on the player. He's a 21-year-old Portuguese midfielder who plays in the Liga Nas with Benfica. He can play in a centre midfield role, but he's also been known to play out wide right. Um, now, whether or not he's a more attacking and more defensive midfielder, I'm not entirely sure. But I think given the state of our midfield at the moment, I do imagine Mourinho would be uh, keen to play him in a deeper role uh, simply because we've been so weak there this season. Something that is concerning me about Fernandez is he's actually only played 17% um, of Benfica's minutes this season, starting just 13% of their games. And I suppose given the fact that he's playing in a very weak league in a team that isn't renowned for having you know the, the best players in the world... I would be kind of concerned that he hasn't had much game time for them this season, but you kind of have to trust if it is a, a player that Jose Mourinho is so keen to make his first signing at Tottenham and one that Daniel Levy is potentially willing to invest £55 million into uh, next summer. I suppose we'd have to just kind of trust that it is he is a good player and it is a good deal and the, the right player to uh, try and fix the problems that we have in our midfield at the moment. Now, as for the, the last couple of weeks for Jetson Fernandez, it's been uh, a windmill a rumour windmill with so many different teams being uh, interested in him mainly but there were two teams who did look at different times likely to sign him and they're both our London rivals in Chelsea and West Ham. Chelsea were the first team to take the lead in the race to sign him uh, earlier in the window. I think they, they made an offer to Benfica uh, and they were really really close to agreeing a deal but what Benfica were holding out for was uh, an 18 month loan deal with an option to buy for £55 million which is the what Sky Sports are reporting is the same deal that we have got. Um, that one, I, I wouldn't say it ever looked like uh, it wasn't uh, an almost done deal, but it did look likely to, likely to happen for quite a while. Um, but that was until West Ham came into the equation and it is believed that they actually took the lead in the race to sign him simply because Fernandez thought he'd get more game time at the London, London Stadium. The deal for him was the same 18-month loan deal with a £55 million option to buy, but that was dropping to £33 million if Fernandez in that 18-month time frame played more than 50% of uh, West Ham's games while he was there. Something you'd imagine that would happen given the state of the West Ham team at the moment. But uh, that that deal looked done. They'd agreed a deal in principle. Uh, the player, I think last week, had actually planned on flying to London, to London this week to finalise a move to West Ham. But it, it kind of happened behind the scenes, really. There wasn't much rumours about this, uh, that Tottenham were attempting to hijack the deal until Friday night when it was confirmed by Sky Sports. And since then, this has moved on very, very quickly. Um, I, I, I honestly don't know uh, the reports aren't really clear on it whether or not Tottenham have a similar thing with West Ham is if he does play more than 50% of our games the price will drop by about £22 million pounds. but to be honest I'm not too concerned by that you know it's it's a transfer fee that will be, have to be paid out in 18 months if we do want him so I don't think the, the figure should be too concerning to us right now um, I think it is the fact I suppose that the player has chosen Tottenham over West Ham and effectively over Chelsea as well is, is really uh, good to see and I think he can be a really important signing for us as I said the, the state that our midfield is in at the moment uh, Musa Sissoko is out until April Tangi and Dambele when he plays don't get me wrong he's absolutely sensational but he's just he's injured all the time and his relationship with Mourinho seems to be uh, quite frail already Eric Dyer you know another player who suffers with a lot of injuries but even when he does play his form hasn't been great he's a, he's had one or two good games under Mourinho but he certainly hasn't been the player that I think Jose Mourinho was expecting uh, to have when he was trying to sign him with United and also when he did come into this team Harry Winks a player who's really struggled for form this season a player that personally I do love 
but this season he's been uh, far below what we expect and what we have seen from him in the last couple of seasons. Uh, Christian Eriksen honestly only looks like he has a couple of days left at, at Tottenham and Mourinho has said he will be playing against Middlesbrough tomorrow so that, that's not going to be done in the next 24 or so hours but um, I do expect Christian Eriksen to lead the club over the next week or so and there, there are rumours that we may be getting uh, Matthias Vecino from Inter Milan in a swap deal in that one uh, but I'll address that in a video later on in the week and of course Lo Celso who again when he plays has been good but has had a few injury problems and uh, doesn't seem to be the, the first choice for Mourinho I think Jensen Fernandez could be uh, a really good signing for us and I'm delighted to see that this one has been completed and it has been completed early in the window uh, that's a, an important thing to take from this it, it leaves us time to pursue some other deals uh, there's talk of Jose Mourinho wanting two strikers in this window of course Christoph Piantek uh, being the main target of him uh, it was one that was heating up towards the end of last week but that seems to have kind of died away now uh, we're not too sure where that one actually stands um, we're not going to be buying any defenders this window I think Mourinho has made that uh, indirectly clear that he, he he doesn't want to sign a defender this window um, but I think there is. it's good now we have uh, two, two and a half weeks to, to try and finalise a deal for some strikers and maybe get in another midfielder. You know, we're being linked with Gerson from Flamengo as well. But uh, the, the big news today, in the last couple of minutes, Tottenham have completed the signing of Jetson Fernandez on an 18-month loan deal with an option to buy in June of 2021. Don't forget to leave down in the comments below your opinion on this signing, if it's one that you're happy to see or if you think we should have pursued other targets in the midfield area. Now, if you have enjoyed this video, please click the thumbs up button and subscribe if you haven't already. Thanks for watching.